Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Eden, the Cat Beyond Time and Space. Okay, so in the last episode we did another ten pull. We got a few extra characters. Um, I didn't actually look at their abilities though. Oh, we don't want to go to party. We want to go to board. Okay, so... Oh wait, here they are. Yazuki? What do your abilities look like? Um, Earth... Axe attack, speed up, and banned from ever knowing. Okay. Um. Kuka. Kakumba. Another axe character. Wind. Wind and axe. Ooh, venom. Nice to know. Large wind with stun. And large axe with negative slash resistance. Nice. And there was others. Toha. I actually really love this character. Her voice is pretty awful there. Um, Earth attack. Ooh, Earth dragon slash. Ooh, poison. Slash and triple slash super cat scratch. Nice. Noonold. Restores the status. Magic attack with sleep. Good to know. Huh. Kind of a half buff. Oh, lower intelligence and inflict mega poison. Damn, I was kind of really hoping he'd end up being like a healer as well. And Crevo, we've got a billion of you. We've already got 10 light because we've collected so goddamn many of you. It's making me think that maybe I should have leveled him up. Because of this, that active liquid, restore all party members HP and intelligence plus 20, that's a pretty damn good healing spell. Anyway, let's stop screwing around with that because we've got some side quests to get out of the way. And then we can get back onto story. Ow. Excuse me. <laughs> Toka. Ah, yes. She's been sending letters to the future or diary entries to the future, detailing how bad her chronic disease is. I know a few people with chronic diseases, and it's awful, man. Chronic illness, chronic pain, autoimmune disorder, like, all of that sort of stuff sucks. Like, every day is pain. I just got over a two-year bout of pleurisy myself, and yeah, that was pretty awful. Like, that was barely enough to deal with, so I can't imagine something worse than that that's just for the rest of your life. Anyway... <laughs> Elder. Hi, Toka. I heard you've not been feeling so hot. Yes, I collapsed while you were away, and since then, the doctor said it's my heart. Ah. I've got an arrhythmia myself. There's nothing we can do about it. Your heart? My chest aches when I try to move around too quickly, and every now and then it feels like it's going to just stop outright. Is that why you wrote the letters? Letters? You've been writing stuff and throwing the pages down the well, right? How do you know about that? Well, that well is connected to another place. Somewhere there. Someone there picked up your writing. He's really worried about you, and he wanted me to give you this. She holds up the letter and reads it. It must be nice to be so healthy. I'm a little jealous. You know, Elder, I try and take all of this with stride, but it's hard. Why do I have this disease? Why me? What did I do to deserve this? My body's always been weak, but I was hoping I'd grow out of it someday. 
If I could only hold on long enough. If I have to live with a heart that could give out any minute, then... Then maybe. Maybe it would be better if I had never been born at all. That's not cool, dude. Sorry, I sh shouldn't talk like that. I, I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Of course. When it came down to it, I couldn't think of anything to say to Toka. I feel terrible just standing around. Maybe I'll he head back to Elzian and tell Yanel I delivered his letter. Why don't you go back to Elzian and find a cure for her chronic disease, dude? Like, come on. Um, let's check Unigan for side quests. We might as well check all the towns, actually. Please don't have X. Oh my god, they're everywhere. It's because we're getting close to the end of the game. Okay, today I'm going to be the hero. Oh, I wanted to be him. Heh, <laughs> I remember playing games like that with Darunas when I was a kid. No way, I'm the hero. Aldo, the Beast Slayer. Yay, Aldo! Take this, Beast Fire Blast! Kachin, Aldo's body is hard as iron. Fire won't work on him. Now take this. Aldo Beam! <laughs> Kapow! Boom! Thwack! Critical hit. Curses! Retreat to Beast King's castle! Don't let him get away! <laughs> Did they say Aldo? Are people talking about me like I'm some invincible hero? I'd better look into this. Ooh, a spotty kitter. The carpenter in Unigan has hurt his foot and can no longer walk. Find some medicine for him. Come on, this should be straightforward. Ow, I hurt my foot. Need medicine, please. Ow, 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 blast it all. Someone, is anybody there? Can somebody help me? Huh? Is something wrong? Finally, a good Samaritan. Listen, young fella, my name is Ketchum. I'm a car I'm a, car I'm a carpenter and ex-Pokemon trainer. Except right now, I can barely move. The pain. Normally, I'd say I'm in good shape. Wouldn't make it very far in this trade if I wasn't. But for some reason, my legs are killing me. It hurts when I try to move around, and my walking speed's down to a snail's pace. Ow, 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 ow. I was meant to be helping with repairs to the castle, but I'm no good in this condition. Would you be a would you be a pal and go and get me something to dull the pain? Jeez, you must have been working really hard. You should take better care of yourself. I'll go get you some medicine. Just stay here and rest a while. Thanks, man. I won't forget this. I have to get back to work soon. My professional pride is on the line. There's a healer in Rind who makes up the kind of salve I need. Tell her I sent you and she'll put it, on, put it on my tab. You're still young. It shouldn't take you long to get to Rind and back. You know where Rind is, right? Go out the castle gate on the side facing Carrick Swampland. The other one. Then you follow the Serena coast until you reach the town. Simple as that. Okay, dude. Oh, there's one of those, um... Yeah, forgot about them. Um... Huh. A scholar in Unigan is researching alternate en energy sources to Prisma. Lightning is apparently the key. Ah, Tesla. Oh, you must be the assistant I ordered. Huh, me? I've been waiting for you. We have a lot of work to do. Wait, what are you talking about? 
Ah, forgive me. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Scott. I'm currently researching a possible new energy source. What kind of source? Have you ever seen lightning? Of course, during storms and stuff. I got to thinking. A lightning strike produces light, sound, even destruction. Why can't we harness that power? Now, have you ever touched a metal object and gotten a shock from it? Yeah, now that you mention it, it always spooks me a little when that happens. Indeed, that moment your finger touches the metal, it's like a miniature lightning strike. It passes through you in an instant. No way. How could be how could it be lightning if things weren't How could it be lightning if there weren't any thunderclouds? Where is it coming from? Don't be so far off to write off this <laughs> Don't be so fast to write off this theory. Think outside the box a little. Man, I can't talk today. Just imagine how much easier our lives would be if we could contain that lightning energy and use it wherever we wanted. It could be the biggest step forward for human civilization since the discovery of Prisma. Bigger, even. So you're looking for a way to summon rain clouds or something? No. Think about those tiny shocks. They can happen when there isn't a cloud in the sky. It has nothing to do with the weather. We must be overlooking something. That's where you come in. I want you to find me something capable of inflicting that tingly shocking feeling. Something that can shock, huh? I've got to admit, I'd like to see where your research may lead. Well said. Curiosity is essential in the matters in matters such as these. Now, are you familiar with those monsters called Gentia that live in the swamp? Eating them causes your tongue to tingle, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I know them, right? You've got to be careful not to bite into one too hard. Or your whole mouth goes numb. That's because of their poison. Their venom gland is their venom glands secrete it constantly, so it gets mixed into the water around them. They need to have those glands removed to be eaten safely. You see where I'm going with this, yes. Now gather the gentia venom glands so we can get started. Nope, I have no idea where you're going with this. <laughs> but I guess I can go to the swamp and hunt down to a couple of gentia. This guy seems kind of eccentric, but I think his heart's in the right place. Well, screw this place. Um, oh god. Hey kid, you got a minute? What is it, mister? Have you heard the stories about the, uh, hero that have been going around? Oh, of course. Everybody in town is talking about it. Can you tell me what the stories say? Yeah, I know all about it. So, um, the castle got attacked, and he beat up the Beast King. He's really strong, and his name's Zelda, and, and... Sounds fine so far, but why is he being called a hero? What's so special about him? So he's really big and tall and muscly, and he's strong, and his body's made of iron. Attacks bounce right off it. Pew! And he can break boulders with one punch and knock down castle walls with his kick. And he's got this secret move where he shoots lasers out of his eyes. The Aldo Beam. He's so totally cool. People say half the damage to the castle is done by him. Nothing gets in a hero's way. I, ne I never did anything like that. Huh? Why are you so mad, mister? Oh, uh, you see, my name's Aldo. Wow, seems the hero. You could say that, yeah. Actually, I am the Aldo that defeated the Beast King. No way, you don't look strong at all. You're all skin and bones. The Beast King would have eaten you for breakfast. Sorry I don't live up to the hype, but that's the truth. I don't know. You're so different from what I've heard. Is this a trick? Are you a con man? No, I'm Aldo, the one and only. Honest, what'll it take for you to believe me? If you're really him, you should be strong. I heard the merchant saying there was a monster on the Carrick Swamplands they've been having trouble with. Go beat it up. You can do that, I'll believe you. Ugh, <sighs> alright, no problem. I defeat strong monsters all the time. Yay, this is gonna be fun. You're coming too? Duh, how else will I know that it was you that beat it? Out of the question, it's too dangerous. Don't be a party pooper, let's go. 
How do I get myself into these messes? You keep helping people, dude, that's how. Oh look, another quest. A widow in Unigan wants her husband's belongings returned from Big Lance Castle. What am I supposed to do now? This is unacceptable. Something wrong, ma'am? Stay calm, you might hurt yourself. How can I be calm at a time like this? I need to collect my husband's effects, but nobody in the castle will help me. Effects? You mean... Yes, he passed away in the battle with the Beast Folk Army. He was such a big sturdy oaf too, I always thought nothing less than a giant could possibly best him. I'm so sorry for your loss. Things have finally started to calm down. I thought it'd be a good time to collect his old stuff. I've asked the soldiers, but they're no help. They just keep repeating the same old warnings about the castle not being safe yet. At this rate, I may as well just go there and hunt around for his things myself. I don't think you should do that. It might not be safe yet. You must have really loved your husband to care this much about collecting his old stuff. Huh. Nothing so sen sentimental as that. He was a good-for-nothing playboy. Most nights I don't even know where he was. When he did bother to come home, I could always smell other women's perfume on him. The lying snake. Oh, okay. So why is his stuff so important to you? After everything he put me through, I deserve it! There's a valuable antique dagger that he'd been keeping all these years. It should fetch a good price. Ugh, just thinking about him makes my blood boil. That's it, I'm going! No, hold on a sec. It's the dagger you want, right? I'll find it for you. Just stay here and don't do anything rash. You do that for me? How kind. You'll know the dagger by the large crimson jewel in its hilt. Okay, it's gotta be somewhere inside McClan's castle. Indeed. Well, I guess we might as do that might as well do that one first. Um I'm pretty sure that's everything in town. Jeez, we haven't even gone back to antiquity yet to check if there's quests there. God, I hope there is not. You want to know about the fallen soldiers' possessions? Usually we return them to their families, but some items have gone missing. Can you believe someone would take advantage of this tragedy and steal from the dead? It happened about two weeks back. A whole lot of personal effects vanished. Hey, you got an alibi for that time? Oh, there's no way a thief would be bold enough to come back. Well, that's not cool. Oh, it's Sora. Soira. Is everybody feeling good today? I still have to check in here from time to time for my military duties, but it's nothing that can't wait if you need my help. Count on me for everything from fighting monsters to weeding flower beds. In times of peril such as this, that the Royal Knights are needed more than ever, we have to help rebuild Miglan's castle as quickly as possible. Well, we have come the wrong way. Some beast folk managed to sneak in a couple of weeks back, but there was something strange about them. They didn't attack anybody or try to damage anything. I only saw them for a second, but it seemed like they took something and ran. What could they possibly have been after? Ooh, clues. Suspicious incidents. Well, they say some beast folk infiltrated the castle a while back. It caused an uproar, uproar I can tell you. Appar apparently they managed to escape and made for the Serena coast. Well, we're going there then. Stolen items, beast folk taking something, it all adds up. We're probably on the right track anyway. It might still be on the Serena coast. I'd better try and catch up for them. Up to them if I want that dagger back. Yeah, we're gonna go to Rind and then head west. West!
Of course this place is full of stuff to do. I think we needed to talk to people. I saw it with my own two eyes. A great hole was torn in the sky above the Noru uplands during the storm. The storm that blew in a while back? Yeah, it was pretty scary. I don't know why, but it seemed different from your regular squall. The sea looked like it was glowing. What could that weird blue light have been? Oh, great. He's been sucked into the past or future. The fisherman that we're looking for, anyway. That storm was a real wild one. I saw boats getting tossed around like they weighed nothing at all. Some even say one ship disappeared. I think that's going a little too far. Maybe, or maybe it's going exactly far enough. Let's review what we know so far. A vanishing ship, a blue light, a hole in the sky. Apparently it opened up somewhere in the narrow uplands. I have a feeling all this is connected somehow. The boat was sucked into the sky and disappeared into the, glo the glowing blue hole. That's enough to put together a theory of what might have happened. Time to do some more legwork. Are you the town healer? A carpenter from Unigan said you might have some medicine to soothe, his, soothe the pain in his legs. I get a lot of requests like that these days. There aren't any decent healers in Unigan. Give me a minute. Here you go. Tell your friend to rub this under his legs. It takes some time to work, but once it kicks in, he'll be right as rain. Slow acting, huh? I guess that means Ketchum will have to rest a bit longer. Oh, this is for Ketchum. He's a regular around here. Knowing him, he's probably going a little going a little bit crazy not being able to get back to work. Yeah, he said his professional pride was on the line. Ho <laughs> ho, that sounds like him. In that case, there is another way to enhance this solve. If fused with the sickle grass from the Serena Coast, it'll take it'll take effect a lot faster. It sounds complicated. It's easy enough if you know how. Bring me the grass and I'll see what I can do. Sure, getting back to work as soon as possible might be the best thing to get catch him in a good mood again. Alright, we have no choice but to go to the Serena Coast. And then if we have t uh, uh, if we have enough time in the episode, I might go to the Carrick Swampland after that. Said we are taking care of business. We are smashing stuff out pretty quick. Oh look, a ship in the background that is just completely wrecked. You silly beast folk, what are you doing? Let's keep it up. Sickle grass, yay! Where are we going? Up, middle, down. Ah, yes, that's right, the guy looking for the mermaid. This is far enough. This spot right here is where I first met the mermaid. Huh? Such a normal place for a fantastic encounter like that. I'll never forget that night. I was here, looking up at the full moon. My gaze drifted to the water, and suddenly there was a woman there. She was so beautiful it took my breath away. She was no different from a human woman, until I looked below her waist. I was so shocked I could barely move. But then she smiled at me. We started talking, and several hours went by as if it were a dream. Interesting story. You just ran into her by chance? Pretty convenient. I was lucky. It may have been a long time ago now, but I know what I saw. Since then I've felt like she's nearby a number of times. Every year I come back here, hoping that this time will be the time I'll get to talk to her again. 
So what now? Now we wait. Huh? You're just going to stand here? Of course. I can't afford to miss her again. Alright, whatever you say. You wait. Still no sign of the mermaid. I've been here a while now. Is she gonna show up soon, do you think? Hmm, maybe. I still feel her presence, but it's only faint. Her presence, huh? It feels like it's gone again. We'll never get anywhere standing around like this. Do you have any ideas? Who, me? Uh, I usually approach a problem by asking around, so I have as much information as possible. It's a great idea. Knowledge is power. Let's go and ask around in Rind. Hey, wait for me! He's really gonna ask people if they've seen a mermaid lately, huh? I'd better go along and keep him out of trouble. There's our last sickle grass. Ooh, a monster. <laughs> I love that noise he makes. <laughs> Gets me every time. That's why it's just doing it extra. Just to make me laugh. Okay, we got our last sickle grass. And then, what do we have left here to do? Oh, that's right. The thieves. What do you want with us, human? Did you sneak into Migland's castle two weeks ago? Who wants to know? It was you. So it was you. You must have stolen a dagger with a red stone, too. This the one you mean? So sorry, but I've taken a liking to it. Find his keepers. That's life. I have a feeling my associates back at the Beast King's castle will pay top git for it. That belongs to the widow of a brave soldier who fell in battle. I'm taking it back. Well, I guess we're gonna have to fight for it. That's the way you want it, buddy. But it's not gonna work out well for you. snapped right in two during our fight. Must have been pretty old. I'd better go find that lady and face the music. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. Let's go and get our salve together first so we can help out Ash Ketchum or Ash Ketchum's dad. Splendid, you got the materials we need. Now watch, and be amazed. Sounds good. Who doesn't like being amazed? First we mash this into paste, then blend it with the other. Make sure to not let it get too lumpy. And ta-da! Alchemy like this never ceases to move me. Can I keep some of the finished product for myself? Alchemy my foot, you just mix them together. Just a little jerk. When you see Ketchum, remind him, he's got a tab that needs paying. I hope he's not going to overdo things again. Thanks, I'll take it to him right now. So, he has a tab, she keeps extra, we don't get paid. Man, if this is capitalism, <laughs> I have some problems. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know anything about the merfolk? Tales have been told about them since the days of antiquity. 
They say... They even say merfolk used to visit this port all the time. Really? Great, we have a lead. Never heard about them coming here, though. We're talking about the days of my father's fathers. Most of those stories have passed out of living memory. Is there a reason merfolk are so elusive? Well, there are old superstitions that say eating merfolk flesh will grant a human immortality. As a result of that, many merfolk were slain by scoundrels seeking eternal life. There's no wonder that it's no wonder they've learned to be wary of humans. What a tragedy. They were innocent, kind hearted creatures. They never tried to launch any kind of counterattack against us. All they could do was try to survive and lament the passing of their brethren. If I were a merman, I know I wouldn't want to get friendly with humans in a hurry. That may be, but I will not give up. I need to see her again. You're looking for a real mermaid? You'll do well to talk to the human the children around town. I've been chatting about seeing something strange at the sea lately. Kasim's not the only one, huh? Maybe this isn't as impossible as I first thought. Come, Aldo. We need to interview the kids. Apparently. Hey, is it true you saw something out at the sea? Sure is, and not just any old something, it was a merfolk. Merfolk. Wow, can you tell me a little more about what happened? Me and Pop were out fishing in the ocean. Then I saw something swim really fast. It was going too fast to be human. It was merfolk. I'm a million percent sure it was. There aren't any human-shaped creatures that can swim that fast. Which way did you say that you saw the thing go? Uh, it shot off through the water towards the Serena coast. I knew it! Thanks for your help. Hey, don't run off without your bodyguard. Guess we're going to the Serena coast, but let's go drop off that cell first. Just to get that out of the way. Oh, the pain. Ah, oh, hey there, young fella. You sure took your time. You should be grateful. I had to go find some extra components to power up this salve. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. I'll put it on right now. He rubs the salve on his legs. Whoa, what the heck is this stuff? It feels like my pain vanished in the wink of an eye. I'm gonna go for a jog. Wow, he, she wasn't kidding about the fast acting part. Oh hey, you're back. Wow, we nothing's nothing like that ever felt. Nothing like that feeling of the wind in your hair. No one's gonna stop me now. Okay then, you wait for Ketchum to return. Whew, I'm working up a great sweat. That's uh, that's great. Time to get back to work. Gotta make up for all that lost time. Thanks again, fella. No problem. Listen, I know the repair workers are important, but don't push yourself too hard, alright? I get what you're saying, but a big job like this is the stuff of dreams. I've never taken on a project of this scale before. I'm rushed off my feet, but loving every minute of it. If only I had him here with me. I guess that's just wishful thinking. Who's him? Just talking to myself. Don't worry about it. Take care of yourself. Yeah, good luck with everything. Don't work too hard. And he's gone. Sweet. 30 more chrono stones. We should go on hand in that um, dagger as well while we're here. And then we can go back to the Serena Coast. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. Eh? What's the matter? The beast folks stole your late husband's dagger. I managed to get it back, but there was a scuffle and well. You 
hand over the broken dagger. Oh my, you really did a number on it. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, young man. You say the beast folk had it? I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. That's nice of you to say. Besides, it looks like this wasn't the priceless antique I'd taken it for. It did come apart pretty easily. Huh, now that I look a little more closely, this part on the hilt is hollow. You're right, no wonder it was so fragile. Ah, something's in the hollow space. It's a letter, for me. Let's take a look. To my beloved wife, thank you for sticking with a complete no-hoper like me all these years. You haven't been shy about voicing your complaints, but still, you never gave up on me. I wanted to find a way to repay you. I've been earning a little extra money by working nights as a rich man's bodyguard. I have enough now to buy something you've always wanted. Remember our special place? You said you'd love to live somewhere like that someday. I hope you like it, my love. A little house by the sea, just for us. Maybe when this war is over, we can get it furnished and move in. What do you think of that? If I don't come back, feel free to do whatever you want with the house. It should fetch a decent price on the market. Just forget about me and live your life. My only wish is for you to be happy. Writing these words is more embarrassing than I thought. Not that anyone can see me. Probably best if I don't send this letter after all. I'll tell you the good news in person. It was saving money to buy you a home. We talked about living by the sea way back when we were first married. I thought he'd forgotten all about it. Your only wish is for me to be happy, you big galoot. How can I be happy without you? It's too late for that now. The widow reads the letter over and over again. <laughs> I I'm alright. I'm sorry for putting you through all this trouble. Not at all. Are you really okay? Yes, thank you. I'll move into that house and save up all my gripe, all my gripes to give him when we see. Oh, the gripes. Okay. I'll move into that house and save up all my gripes to give him when we see each other in the next life. I'm sure you're gonna be fine. I'll go take a look at the house right now. Thanks again. Funny how one little object had so many stories attached to it. Okay, you know what? I think I might call out an episode there. If you guys like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes, and until the next episode of Another Eden, you've been watching Dude Go Back. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>